Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll create login and logout pages. Let's start by creating login page. Give the page a meaningful title and a header title. Include preferences file. Include the header. Check if the user is already logged in. If so, then redirect him or her to the home page. And terminate the script at this point. Wrap the login form with a field set. Display a message if it's set. Create the form. Action will be taken by the same script. And the method is post. Wrap the input within a paragraph tag and give it a label. Then create a text input, give it a name ID, and display the variable ID if it is set. Create a span for displaying an error message related to this input. This input is named ID because it could be a username or email. Create a password input. Name it password. And display its value if password variable is set. Create a submit button. Name it login. Include the footer. Let's check if the submit button is clicked. Then require the connection link object. Initialize an array to hold the errors. Sanitize all the incoming data. And trim them all. Then save the result in a variable. Call it safe post. Apply real escape string on both the ID and the password. Then create a flag variable to indicate whether the values are valid. Create a query string to retrieve from the user's table the decrypted password, active, user level, user ID, and the first name and last name concatenated and separated with a space. Validate the ID to check if it's a valid email address. If so, then complete the statement of where clause to return the record based on the email column and limit the returned result to 1. If the ID is not an email address, check if it is a valid username. Then complete the statement of where clause to return the record based on the username column and limit the return result to 1. If it is not an email address or a username, then set valid flag to false and notify the user that this is not a valid username or email. Check the password value. If it is not in this range, then notify the user to enter a valid password and set the valid flag to false. If the valid flag is true, then this means that the ID and password both are valid data. Send the query to the database server and save the returned result as a statement object. Bind the parameter to this statement. Execute the statement and store the result. Bind the returned values to the following variables. And fetch the values from the statement. 
the user is exists as long as one row was returned. Check if the user is already activated his or her account by checking the active value to be a null. Check if the returned decrypted password is equal to the submitted password, then this is a true identity for the user. Save all the returned values in a session. Then redirect to the home page and terminate the script at this point. If the password does not match, then notify the user about incorrect credentials and give the user a link to reset the password. If the account is not active yet, then notify the user about that and provide him or her the link for activating his or her account. If the user is not exist, notify the user that there is no such a user on file. Let's see how it works. Provide an invalid information. Give the information for inactive user. Give the information for non-exist user. Give the information for correct email or username, but incorrect password. Finally, if you provide a correct username or email, with the correct password, you'll be logged in and you'll be greeted by your full name. Now let's create the logout functionality. Create a new PHP file, call it logout. Start a new session or access an existing one. Check if the user is logged in. Then reset the session array, delete both the session and the cookies of that session. Then redirect the user to the home page and terminate the script at this point. If the user is not logged in, then just redirect him or her and terminate the script. That's all for logout. Let's check it. Great, now you'll be able to register, activate your account, and log in and log out. What next? Okay, try to make a change password page. Try to make a remember me field on the login form to save the cookies for a long time. Try to make the site multilingual Try to manage the users only if you are an administrator. Try to give each user a profile image. Try to check the username and email when you move out from the text input. Feel free to discuss any new idea you might be able to add to this simple system. 
and I would be more than happy to hear from you. Thanks for watching.